Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Alicia. Today I have October's Stitch Fix. I feel like it looks way better than it did in the preview. I have now had my same stylist Renee for, I don't know, maybe six fixes. I'm not sure whether she's really gaining my style, but I do prefer to stick with somebody because I don't know. I feel like you have better luck that way. Um, I picked two of the pieces and I would say when I, upon like them sending me my fix, I was so, so we will see great price. All five pieces, if I kept them would be $204. So very reasonable. One piece, I'm fairly sure I'm just not going to like, so I don't think it'll be a five for five. And the pants I kept or chose are a risk. Um, every time I say this, I always get somebody that doesn't agree with me, but personally, I think you should try everything on. You never know. Um, the two pieces I'm unsure about could be somehow fantastic. Um, and I would be missing out. So what does, it doesn't hurt you or Stitch Fix to try them on. Um, anywho. All right. First up, I love the colors, the looks of it. It looks better in person than it did on the website. This is Daniel. I was going to say Daniel Moon. Good grief. Daniel Rain. Um, Elowin Smocked Tassel uh, Dark Green 2X. $58. I love Hunter Green. It is a good color on me. Um, on the preview, it looked a little Christmassy in person. I would say not at all. I love, I love the pattern. I love the feel of this material. It has elastic here which is fine as long as it's not too tight. Not sure how I'll see about the tassel part, but I liked the smocked detail a lot. I'm um, interested to see how it looks without the tassels tied. Sometimes this makes a very funny like v-neck, but super excited. This is a perfect top for work. I need more three-fourths length because we're kind of getting out of where like most people aren't wearing sleeveless so i would prefer some other sleeves very excited about this one i did not pick this but and i wasn't excited about it when i saw it but i'm very i don't know this just in person is a lot better green and blue looks good on me so i'm hoping i like this this is Paper Moon. It's also three quarter sleeve, which is a win. This also kind of has tassels, which I'm not, I kind of wish we had some different things going on. Sadly, I feel like this is rayon. And I know I'm sending mixed signals when I purchase a rayon and I don't really want rayon. Um, let me see, where is the fabric? But I'm almost would guarantee it's a rayon. Yeah, a hundred percent rayon. We will see how it fits. If it's flowy enough, I might consider it if I really like it. I had kept a ray on top maybe two fixes ago. A lot of you guys said pull, stretch, and pull. Um, sorry, this little guy, uh, his name is Spirit. Whenever I film, he wants to come in and play with the curtain tassels. Um, but anyway, he's not going to look at the camera, but, uh, I just have really been enjoying our kittens. He was over staring at the ring light. Anyway, I had kept a ray on cause you guys all said to pull and stretch. I will say that works. I would say about 90% well, if I had to grade that, I would give it like a B plus. So it worked, but to me, the ray on, once you wash it, it's never the same. Still like the shirt, still glad I kept it, but rayon is not my favorite favorite fabric. If I love it and it's roomy enough, I might consider it. Um, but I do wish they would not send me rayon or these companies would just pre-shrink their rayon. Did I tell you how much? Paper Moon. Adley Clip Dot Woven Top, $46. This one is one where I would almost guarantee you it's going to be an absolute no for two reasons. One, it's the Bobe, Bobo, whatever, Tanner Contrast Knit Top, $50. In my opinion, Bobe, Bobo, whatever, runs very small. There's the brand. Um, we will see if this fits or not. I had just got a top from them from Wantable. 
in a 2X, it felt like an extra, extra large. I also absolutely do not like yellow as far as a color for clothes. Um, yellow does not look good on me. So I do not like the colors of this top. So we will see. I could end up loving it. It could be awesome. I don't think it will be though. I like the fabric feel. It's very lightweight. Like it really is almost very sheer. So I almost feel like that makes it cheaply made. Uh, for a $50 top, I would maybe expect better. All right, this is another one that's better in person, but it is that terrible, terrible, terrible brushed knit from Stitch Fix. And I will say this feels like a cheaper brush knit, like a very thinner brush, thinner, hmm, more, a more thin brush knit. I don't know. Stitch Fix and their brush knit and their brush knit pills like a madhouse. Um, I love the color. It has the buttons down the sleeve, which I think I like. In person right now, they're looking kind of clunky because the fabric is so thin. Um, but I like the concept. So I'm interested in how that translates when you put it on. But I like that. I love the color. Green is a great color. This is once again, three quarters length. I really need three quarters length. Although they almost sent me a whole wardrobe of green this time. This is Fortune and Ivy Azalea button sleeve top, $40. Um, and this is one of those ones where I feel like it is cheaply done. Um, it's just thin. The way the buttons look in person, the buttons look nicer than the fabric. And again, this is a 100% brush knit that will pill. I mean, it'll be destroyed in one wear, two wears. Um, I would still wear it for the season. This is not a top that I feel like you would wear. And I don't think it would keep for next year. Um, it is also very thin. Like I can see you guys 100% through here. So it is just very thin. And the inside is not soft. It's that whole different like uh, a whole different almost like fabric kind of or like feel. This also seems big. Like it seems way too big. We'll see. Love the color. All right. This is the other piece that I feel very skeptical that I will keep. Um, these are pull on pants. Like so no zipper buttons from Liverpool. That's the only reason I decided to keep it. Um, pull on pants are great for my stomach with a caveat that almost 99% of pull on pants just roll down with the exception of Liverpool jeans. Now these are not Liverpool jeans. These are green pants. I almost don't like the color. It almost seems like a Christmas tree green. They feel very thick, very heavy duty. They have a substantial elastic waistband. I don't know whether you can see that since the green is so dark. Um, they have zippers up front, which for me are pointless because I'm not going to store anything in them and I don't tuck my shirts. They're actually functional, although very small. Um, I don't front tuck, so I don't think anybody would ever see them. These feel very, very good quality. Stretchy. I just thought I would try them. Like, why not try them? Um... This green is not my preferred. Like, I think it would be hard to match. It's all, like, I don't know. I keep coming back to, like, a pine green, a Christmas tree green. And in person, I would say with a touch of military green. Um, in person, they kind of, like, have a yellowy, just a teeny tinge of, like, a camo-y, like, a yellowy green, which I know probably on camera you're, like, you're crazy. Very good quality. These are 16W. <laughs> the cat's going crazy. Um, and these are $78. The Tevin straight leg zipper detail. So we will see. My favorite piece just from looking at it is the Daniel Rain top. I feel like that's going to be the keeper. And we'll see. Um, so let's get to the try on. All right, I am back with the Fortune and Ivy button sleeve. 
it's $40. Honestly, I wish they had spent $10 more on design or material. I want to like it. Um, like I said, I could use some three quarter length sleeves. I like the buttons. I love the color. Um, it's too big and it's very tunic length. I don't do tunic length. Um, and I mean, when I'm looking in the viewfinder, there's nothing wrong with it. It just, it's the fabric that's going to pill. It just, I don't know. It seems like it's wanting. Although now that I've said all that, I kind of like it more than I thought I would. It's just too big. Um, I don't, I'm a, I'm a little afraid that a sizing down, I would get in a lot of like lumps and bumps. I don't really do a front tuck, but I just don't do tunic length. So I, I think this is just going back because it's the fabric that's going to pill. It's very thin. It's also really big. Like I have lots and lots of extra fabric, um, but I'm really afraid if I size down, it will just, it'll be too tight in some places. Um, and I, like there are just, I don't know whether it's coming out, threads out, very thin fabric. It's just... It's a no. I don't know why I'm talking about it. Let's move on to the next top. All right. I am back with the Paper Moon. It's 100% rayon, which is a big no. I do like the colors. I am not sure. I don't think I like this part. Um, I love the 3-4 sleeves. Um, let's see if I like it any better with this. I'm not a person to have a bow tie but I think I like it better closed. I, I'm not a fan. Love the sleeve link, love the color, easy piece to wear to work. Absolutely no questions asked. This is definitely an Alicia top. I think it fits really well. So um, I think I might, I might say yes to this. We will see, I'm not sure. Um, what do you guys think? Is this a yay or a nay? I will say it is a little extra roomish, but given that it's rayon, I think that's okay. Um, and it's not like the other top where uh, this material stretches. I feel like as this washes, it's going to get just stretchy, loosey-goosey. This fabric is not going to do that. So I think it'll hold its shape. Um, and I think a little extra room is okay. Um, because it will lose some of it, even when I stretch it out. I think the question is, is it a love, 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 love? I don't know if it's a love, love, love. I definitely could use it though, because I really, I've got a lot of sleeveless and we're out of the season really for sleeveless now. So I could definitely use some three quarters, but I'm not sure. I'm not sure it's a I love, love, love. The pattern's kind of loud. I like it. I don't know if it's a love. So let me know what you guys think. And let's try on another top. All right. I am fairly sure this is the first Bobe shirt I've ever put on that actually fits. So it 100% fits perfectly, I would guess. Um... It is a no. I knew it would be a no. Um, I just do not like the colors. The white or cream with the yellow. Maybe if this was a different color, red, blue, green, purple. Um, but even then, it's not my favorite, most favorite design of a shirt. Um, I just definitely, I, I just knew the yellow was kind of a no. Uh, this is a $50 shirt. So it's definitely going back. Uh, let's do the Daniel Rain. All right, I am back with the Daniel Rain. I'm not sure how I feel about this. Um, I love this mocking here. I don't like the tassels. I think I could cut them off. I don't know though, um, because I feel like they're weighing down. I love the three quarter length sleeve. 
The one thing I'm not sure of, and Daniel Ring has this problem, is that I feel like they're shapeless sometimes. Like this is a, just a big rectangle. It comes down longer than I would like. Not quite tunic, but very close. Um, so I don't know. When I look in the mirror, I'm not like in love and love and love and love. It's not bad. Um, I wish the bottom was different. I love it from here up. I just don't do front tucks. Generally, I forget even if I was trying to do one. And I'm just, I'm not a fan of how much this comes down. I feel like it's just kind of blah. It's so long for me. This is probably three inches, a good three to four inches too long. So I am kind of torn. Um... And I always kind of get guilted in to buying something. I feel bad for Stitch Fix or bad for my stylist. And I truly need three quarter length sleeves. So both of these tops I would put in the I like them category. I'm not sure I love either one. I like the colors and the pattern of this one better. This one is just kind of loud and I feel like it's, they're both okay. I like them. I think I like this one a little better, but I'm not sure. I'm going to have to play back the footage of this one. This one, I just, it somehow seems really long. I don't like how it looks. Um, it just seems long. And I'm not going to go to a tailor and have them cut off three inches. Um, up next, I will try on the pants, but I am fairly sure these are a no. I guess I was hoping for a little more hunter green. Um, I don't think these are very versatile. They are in person a very dark Christmas tree green. And it just to me seems like a color that would be hard. This seems like a Christmas pant. But anyway, let's try them on um, and we'll see. All right, I put this top back on. I, I think I like the cut of this better than the Daniel Rain. I Now I have on the Liverpool. Um, these are a very nice quality pant. They do not roll down. Although they, I say that there's a little tiny micro roll up here right now. They are baggy in the knee. I'm not sure why. I'm not sure what that says about a pant. Um, but there's a lot of excess fabric hitting at the knee. These are very thick, very... Um, Good quality. If they were like a gray or a navy or a black, um, they would be a consideration. Um, I don't need them. Um, and since there's that micro roll, I would have to wear them and see because it's, it's kind of already naturally starting to flip. I also don't like the baggy knee. But anyway, I don't know. I could easily just send it all back. I feel bad for, I guess, doing that. Um, is there a keeper? Um, I could definitely use your help. Um, you will see this before I have to send it back. It's really between this top and the Daniel Rain. Um, I love this top from like here up. I don't like how long it is and it just seems boxy at the bottom. And I like this top. But at the same time, I just feel like I'm just wearing a flower pattern that also doesn't have that much shape. It has a little more shape because it has some sort of gathering here. Um, I really do wish you could like pay extra and have them send one of each size. I kind of wonder in both of these tops if the size down might fit better. But I'm also thinking 2x a hair big, 1x a hair small. Um, and they're both okay. Um, to buy them both would be like a hundred bucks and absolutely do not like them a hundred dollars worth. This is basically 60. This is, um, um, I believe this is 46. So I don't know. I'll have to try this one on again or watch the footage, but 
I feel like I would be buying it just to support my stylus and because I could use long sleeves. Um, I'll put this one back on, not for you guys, I don't think, but I don't mind it. I feel like it's okay, like a B plus. And I don't want to buy B plus. I want to buy A plus. So let me know what you guys think. Keeper, send it all back. What do you guys think? Anyway, have a great day and I will talk to you soon.